Now first up, you need to cut a servo arm to size and glue it to the motor. Now I've chiseled it out a little bit on the side that fits the motor. Not necessary, but it helps it fit against that cylinder a bit better. And also at the very end of the servo arm, I've cut a little notch there and uh, that'll come in handy just for the, uh, to stop the string sliding all the way down the end, which we're gonna wrap around the whole thing next. So once that glue's dried, we can uh, tie a loop in the end of a bit of string. You probably just need about a foot of string, no more maybe a foot and a half or something like that, and loop it around, anchor it at one side, and then we can start lashing it. Now start off just with a little bit of pressure, and then once you get a few winds on, you can uh, tighten it up a little bit. And you don't have to pull incredibly tight when you're doing this, because each time you go around, that will multiply the strength of the actual lashing. Now the thread I'm using is just one that you might use to sew buttons on clothes and that sort of thing. You should be able to steal some from your missus. And once you've got enough wrappings, all you need to do is uh, dab a little bit of super glue on there and that will hold it in place. Wait for that to dry and then you can trim that string off. Now, this uh, connection on this motor is really crap. So we're gonna strengthen it up a bit with a bit of balsa wood. Again, a little bit of medium CA and we just hold that in place. If you don't have balsa wood you could easily use a bit of foam or anything that's fairly light. All it has to do is hold that shape and just provide a bit of support to that wire there. Now with that dry I'm just going to lash a bit more string around the whole thing and secure the, the wires down the bottom. The wires that come out of these motors aren't soft, they're actually quite stiff, so if you bend them repeatedly, they will actually uh, break. They'll, they'll fatigue and break fairly quickly. So I'm gonna lash up and keep all those uh, fatigue-prone bits of the wires nice and stationary and let the silicon wires do all the bending. Now you glue the servo onto your uh, tail boom and then we'll lash it up again to provide a bit of extra strength. With the balsa wood, you don't want to pull too hard. You'll actually dent the balsa wood and then we just anchor it down. And likewise, we can even do this with the ESC as well. I've got my ESC naked here. Not the best way really to mount it. Even a bit of moisture on that uh, MCU will, will cause it to trip and do all sorts of weird stuff. So maybe spray a bit of silicon spray on there or corrosion x or something like that so you can see you've got nice free movement and those silicon wires there are doing their job now another thing i like to do is because this esc has a 5 volt beck on it i've decided to power the servo with this esc and you're minimizing the amount of wiring you need here so i've stripped back the signal wires there and they will go to the flight controller and now I'm just cutting the uh, power leads, the ground and power lines, so they're staggered a bit. So you can see how they're staggered, and, and now we'll solder them together, and there's no chance of the actual uh, two joints shorting out with each other because they're at different positions. Please ignore my dodgy soldering. And we're done. If you've remembered to put the heat shrink on, you can just uh, bring that up the top and we're finished. Uh, don't use a blowtorch because it might melt your threads. I'm going to have to redo that lashing. But you get the idea and you end up with a really nice lightweight and uh, efficient yaw mechanism. It's only good for really small motors and these are little 2300 kV uh, motors that we generally don't run on anything bigger than three cell. Actually, three cell is almost the limit for these motors. But you'll find that the weak point ends up being that servo arm, so keep plenty of spare ones, and if you do have a breakage, then it breaks at that servo arm first rather than bust the motor or bust the uh, strip gears in the servo itself. So, yeah, it's worked for me. It's lightweight, incredibly lightweight, and uh, works pretty well. Cheers. If you've enjoyed this, 
give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you next time. Even though she's incredibly windy, she's very stable. <laughs>